Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And yep, yeah, it's me, I'm back. <laughs> so, I was following along with uh, Gail Gossinelli and yesterday she posted a video that was just so cool. And it was called Antiquarian Pages. And she got the idea from a gentleman uh, from England. His name is Carrie Griffiths, or Carrie the Crafter. And uh, he's brilliant. And uh, he came up with these antiquarian pages. And basically the idea is to kind of make your own Edith Holden pages for your journals. And I was like, oh, yes, please. So I dug out a bunch of stamps. And uh, anything that's kind of nature themed is perfect. But you do the second. So, but first... They both used this, uh, or I know Gail used this uh, Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous ledger script, and it worked perfectly. So I'm going to use that as well. And also, I'd like to try something a little different. Um, put these aside and hope they don't fall. Um, I, one, you have to have sticky notes. I don't have any sticky notes. So I'm just going to use uh, little pieces of torn up, just copier paper. Um, in this, and first let me grab this. Sorry about the glare. Grab this out of here. I'm gonna use the big one, not the little one, because the little one looks messy, because it's like crisscross, so you don't wanna do that. You want this to look like somebody has been writing notes in a journal, and so this is gonna be perfect. Um, also, they did everything on coffee-stained paper. I found one piece that I'm gonna be using in my bee journal that I'm making or will make and I do have some bee themed stamps so I dug those out and you just take your paper fold it in half I don't want that side or the other side oh we'll do this side okay and then I also have here like this was a paper bag I just cut the bottom off of it and I want to put this into a journal as well. So we're going to be doing something with this. And maybe I was going to use this as an insert into a journal. So we might do something on this as well. We'll stamp it at least. Even if we don't get to finish it, we'll definitely be stamping on it. So first they took their piece of, uh, now this is eight and a half by 11 uh, coffee paper that I've coffee dyed. Coffee stained it. And just fold it in half and that's like the perfect size for a journal so what i'm going to do next is take my paper my coffee my regular copy paper oh crap i can tear a ruler It'd be so much easier and i'm just going to tear off some pieces let's make it a little bigger so i can actually tear the sides off now, Carrie says you want to have this ripped edge, and I'm like, okay, let's do that. So I'm just going to, and it doesn't have to be perfect. This has to be the size that you want to, what we're going to do is use this as a mask in areas on the sheet and then stamp around it. It's really cool. Just hold on. Come on. <laughs> Doesn't want to tear. This is why I want one of those Tim Holtz paper cutters. Oh, I would love one of those. Let's see. Then we can just mask off on that size. Like so. And then maybe one kind of square. I'll put that there. And then, uh, we don't want it quite that big. Like so. And we'll put that there like that. Okay. Put this aside, because we'll need it probably in a bit. Okay. Now, what I'm thinking because I don't have those sticky notes to, to hold them in place. Oops. Is I might take just a little piece of tape or something 
or oh I know <laughs> we're just gonna take a little bit of glue stick and just make them tacky because that'll come up after we're done Okay, and you're gonna want some uh, distress ink as well. So let's get to stamping. Where my stamp go? There it is. Okay, and I'm gonna also want a piece of paper to go under this. Do, do, do. Oh, I know. I'm gonna use this as a stamp pad. Cause it's kind of smooshy and I want to get my desk all messed up. Okay. So now we're going to take our archi archival ink. You have to have archival ink. It can't be like the other stuff because that will bleed and we're going to be using a little bit of water in a bit. Of course, you, if you don't have archival, you don't want to use do the, the water portion of this. So you may want to just wish this pad was bigger. Um, stop at the colored pencil portion of it. And we'll start here. Sorry about my fingernails. I was going to do my nails and then I realized I had some crafting to do. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. And get up again. can't wait to see how this turns out. I'm so excited. When I saw Gail's, I was just like, oh, I've got to try that. And of course, she said the same thing about when she saw Carrie's video. <laughs> Is this the right side? No, that's not the right side. Oh, hold on. Let me stamp this off. That's the wrong side. Okay. We'll do this side. up this side of the paper. But yeah, when I saw Gail do this, I was like, are you kidding me? That just looks so cool. There's a little bit of a blur to it there. But that's okay. definitely don't want the print to like overlap there we go okay and let's see I'm going to go ahead and take these off wipe that glue off you see the blank spaces <laughs> and then let me put this to the side while it dries Bring this in and we'll just put two on this. I wonder if one stamp will cover everything. It'd be interesting if it did. Be kind of cool. Now we're going 
not gonna get away with <laughs> with one. <laughs> I mean, you can pretty much do this on just about anything. And you're basically making your, like, your own backgrounds. Which is cool. That's without having to learn, you know, Procreate or Photoshop or anything like that. Alrighty. And these little pieces, you can just keep using them over and over. But that looks cool. I'm taking it. Okay. I'm just going to do these two for right now. Those over there. I'll just set this aside. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, we're going to keep this out. Move this back in. Now, we're going to... Let's see. This is going to go in my bee journal. So, I'm going to use these bee stamps. And they've got... Let's see which ones... Do I want to use? I haven't. I think I've only used this. These two little bees once. So let's see. Um, I think the flowers really look good here, and then a bee and the beehive. I think will work. Oh. See, this is what happens when you haven't used them before. It gets they're super stuck. Off. Oh goodness. Okay. And I will ink that up. I got ink all over my fingers. Isn't that great? We want a nice, clean line. Want to look like a photo or like you actually drew it, so you want those lines to be nice and crisp. I can't see for the glare. Okay, right there. We're gonna wait and make sure that ink gets into the paper. I mean, you can always finish lines off with a very thin, you know, fine line pen that's waterproof. Oh, perfect. Okay, great. And let's see. The bee and the beehive. And we're going to use the big bee. Ooh, come off. Okay. Let me pull this beehive off. It's never been used. Okay. Ink up the bee. These are really good stamps. And I just picked them off of Amazon. They were super cheap. I was just like, I need those. And let's see. Put the bee right here. And wait. He's on there good. Oh, yes, that looks so good. Put him back. And the beehive. Which way would that beehive go? Like that, I think. Okay, and get up. put it off center just a little bit because there's a little bee I think I'll put in this corner. Ugh, my 
fingers. Oh, this is why I didn't redo my nails. Ugh. Okay. That came out perfect. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me put this back. Grab the little bee. Let's see which ways he go. Like so. Okay. Ink him up. And down in this little corner. Awesome. Perfect again. Sweet. So cute. Okay. On to the next. Come on, get him in there. Okay. Back of the sleeve, or I won't <laughs> because I am lazy that way. But this is the problem my fingers don't like to come on, get in there. <sighs> and now it's stuck. Okay, I'll just sit it to the side and I'll, I swear I'll do it later. I swear I will. <laughs> okay, so here was, now before we get on to this, I want to show you one idea I had for this. Without, if you don't have stamps, you know, these, these you know, cute stamps, that you, if you don't have these and all you have is like script stamp, if that's all you have, I got you. Because what I thought, and this is going to go into like a, a nature journal type of thing, I thought about using stickers. And they're already pre colored. So I thought, aha. So let me pick some out of here. Those are those berries. And these are kind of, um, they do look white. So if you have some that are those perfectly clear, these would work perfect. Let me see which ones look best. I think that one there. And let's see. I need a squatty one. Off. That's not exactly squatty, is it? Oh, no. oh this might work. Put it at an angle, maybe. I kind of like the ones with the little berries on it though, but I like that color. So we'll go ahead and use that one. But yeah, if you find, if, if you have like stickers, you could even like fussy cut things out and glue them in places too. So that is also an idea. Where is my, oh, there it is. Oh goodness. Okay. So I'm just going to take the backings off. If I can, you're so fiddly. Got it. I have to be so careful with these. Make sure they don't rip. And I'm 
okay? And this last one. And I'll probably finish this one up, show you how it turns out, and then I'll go back to the one that is more like the one that Galen carried in. Because I used watercolor pencils. Well, Gail used watercolor pencils. Carrie just used regular colored pencils, not watercolor pencils. But they still turned out so cool. Okay. I'm going to take my distress ink. Distress that into the back. So it's not so bright white. And voila. Well, let me grab some some stuff here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. And this is my ephemera book that I made. Let's see. I definitely want a number. Aha, uh -huh, there's one. Okay, here's like that and then this could go here oh that looks cool yes okay grab my glue distress these a little bit just around the edges okay I think I'm still gonna put that there. Put this on the other side. All right. And a little bit of glue. And who knows what that says. It looks like it's some French or something. know two languages English and sign language and that's it here we go isn't that neat I just love that okay now back to the regular page and we're going to have to we'll put this aside for right now because I still want to do a little more embellishing on that Here's our regular page. Next up, we are going to grab a watercolor brush. I can find one that has actual water in it. Okay. And our watercolor pencils. All of them. And you can tell a colored pencil is a watercolor pencil. If one, it says watercolor or It'll have like, it looks like a little brush with like a drop of water coming off of it. Both those mean that they're meant for water. So, yeah. So I'm going to put them here. Ooh, noisy. And I've got my watercolor brush. Okay. And let's see. We want some orange. Orange is a bumblebee. It doesn't take much either to get these to look colored and colorful. Let's see. I'm going to put a little bit of orange on this side here. And take some brown.
All you do is just color things in like the way you want them. I'm going to take some yellow on these flowers. And some green on these stems and leaves. <laughs> when I was watching Carrie's video, he is such a storyteller. He really, when he's making these pages, comes up with this these cool stories of, you know, where the people would have gone and what they were looking for while they were out in the woods or whatever. It was really cool. I really enjoyed it. And I'm gonna leave a link to both of their, uh, Gail's video and his, um, below. In the description box, of course. I think y'all will really enjoy these the videos because I was so inspired by them. Okay, now we're gonna take our water brush. I can get some water out of it. Ooh, got too much water out of it now. And just move the pencil around. Get that ink to kind of move around. They both mentioned too that you could use regular watercolors. And I was like, yeah, but if you can use watercolor pencils, psh, I would use watercolor pencils. And you can see how the water makes the colors really pop from the from the color of pencils, watercolor pencils, which I have not used in a month of Sundays. Like that. Okay. Now we're gonna let that dry, just over, which doesn't take long because it's not much water. And I'm gonna take my distress ink. And we're gonna distress the whole page around the edges. And these just come out looking so amazing. And if <laughs> you can't get your hands on your own Edith Holden book, well, now you can just make your own. Which I have her, uh, the Edith Holden book that everybody has, you know, the Diary of a Country Woman or whatever it's called. I just can't bring myself to tear it apart. Oops. Yeah. Put all these pencils away. Because I have one more thing I want to do to this. And oh, I'll put that away. Let's see. I think I'm going to. Let's see if I can get this to work. Yeah, there we go. A little bit of coffee. What's coffee and crafts without coffee? Come on. 
And let's see, one other thing. I'm gonna take some gold paint. Oh, if I can get it open. Uh, there we go. And I'm gonna just squish a little bit out. And grab my spitzer. And a fan brush. water I need it to splatter Woo, it's getting everywhere what is that Okay, there we go. All right. Put that in my jar of water. Grab some paper towel. Oops. I made a disaster. I'm going to take my little stamp pad that I put the paint on and just wipe it off. All right. And there we go. All clean, all better. I'll move this out of the way. That came out gorgeous so i hope you enjoyed this i hope you got something from it uh, maybe inspired that would be fantastic again go and check out the videos i'm gonna link below <coughs> excuse me and uh go check their videos out because they both did their own pages a tad bit different so it was uh it was very cool to watch and i really appreciate their inspiration and they are stars in my eyes. They did a great job, and I'm really thankful that they did what they did. And where the heck are my... <laughs> I'm going to probably put some specimen numbers and whatnots on here as well. Interest. I like that one and that one. So... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and glue these on, and uh, it'll be finished. So, if you would so be so kind as to subscribe, like the video, and don't forget that little, you know, the little bell, so you can get notified every time I upload a video. Whenever that happens to be, because right now my schedule is kind of crazy. My father is being moved today from a uh, the hospital where he has been for entirely too long. Um, he had pneumonia and sepsis and almost died on us. So, uh, yeah, we've been very concerned around here, and that's kind of where I've been. So, um, if you would so be so kind as to maybe say a prayer for him, that'd be great. Um, he's being moved to a nursing home today for rehab to get him walking again. And, uh, he's doing much better. And, uh, yeah. So there we go. I do appreciate it, guys. And I will see you in my next video. Love you bunches. Bye.